Okay. How you doing, everyone? Peace again, Gamer 36 here. And I'm back again with another reaction. And today, we're going to watch top 15 scary videos that make you panic. Well, it says make me panic, but it's make you panic. It's by Chills. His link will be in the description below. I'm guessing this is our videos that are unexpected or, or just like, I don't know, just some kind of weird scariness. So, let's go. Number 15. I, I still can't get over, I, that's what I like about Dumba. The number 15. The, how do you do that? The number 15. Number 15. <laughs> <laughs> he does so deep. It's so good. I like it. I love it. Don't turn out the light. Why if shouldn't you? Saw you? This figures oh, okay. So turn off the light and you get some ghosts apparently. Well, that's a nice sight. Standing in your darkened home, would you keep your cool? Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Lucky1196 writes, After seeing this, next time I'm not going to turn off the lights in my house. At the beginning Dang. of the clip, you can see a shadow cast in the bedroom. At first, you think something perfectly explainable could be standing in the doorway, like a coat rack with a coat hanging on it. However, when the Redditor turns on the light, nothing is there, besides a oh, square wow. burrow up against the wall. He walks closer to the doorway and turns off the light again. The figure appears instantly. Oh, wow. He flicks the lights on, moves, and then turns them back off. That's when this shadow started to move too. They flip the light quickly on again, and there is nothing. R R eyes deceiving us or is there some deceptive figure here number 14 some ghost ghost hand. some ghost is trying to play peekaboo <laughs> just turn off the light peekaboo ghost there that's that would be a good joke I, I need to do that let me know in the comments if i should do that and eeny meeny miny mo <laughs> you don't want this cryptic hand catching you by the toe Published in October of 2019 by YouTuber Paranormal News, this video has taken Spanish social networks by storm. The clip at first appears sweet. A toddler is hiding on uh -huh. a shelf inside a burrow as her father coaxes her out of there. Watch as a Tales from the Crypt nightmare hand extends out, perhaps luring her further into the darkness. Whoa. Did a chill just run down your spine? Someone get that Whoa. baby out of there. Whoa. This is insanely scary. Num it looks like a web hand for something. So it looks like a one of the web monsters from Scooby Doo. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Just you just see him Scooby Dooby Scooby Dooby Doo just trying to get your other people. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm I'm just gonna move on. Number 13, Haunted Restaurant. Some property owners just can't let go. Posted by I Sour don't Sweet Gone to the go. Ghost subreddit. The previous owner of this restaurant makes his jealousy known. The security footage shows some employees behind the counter at the restaurant preparing some paperwork. No customers are present, and that's probably a good thing. Suddenly, a framed picture on the wall falls straight down onto the one below it and flips over onto the floor. One of the workers literally throws his hands into the air while the other jumps, covering her mouth in astonishment. According to the Redditor, the picture that fell was an award for the new owner's restaurant. Is the previous owner sore about their success? Some of the oh, comments wow. suggest the nail or wall fastening fell out or broke, but the Redditor has an answer for that and says the nail was still in the wall and the way it was hung made falling on its own seem unlikely. So what do you think? Broken nail or jealous ghost? I think that's a pretty fair explanation about the nail, so I'm definitely leaning on the side of the paranormal. Number 12. Unknown object. What do you guys think? Tell me in the description. What do you guys think? Jax, what you don't know can't panic you, right? Posted to Reddit, the uploader, Jason Green 3 explains in the comments, on April 25th, 2013, 
At about 9.20 p.m. local time, an unknown object at low altitude flew directly what across the Rafael Hernandez Airport runway in Aguadilla, Puerto Rico, causing a delayed departure of a commercial aircraft. Green continues on, explaining that this infrared video on the thermal imaging systems of the CPB DHC-8 aircraft was captured by U.S. authorities. This video is reportedly obtained legitimately by an anonymous source. According to their information, the object, between 3 to 5 feet wide, was flying around various speeds between 40 and 120 miles per hour with an 80 mile per hour median speed when Dang. it entered the water. Its speed did not slow down or demonstrate obvious impact, traveling at a similar average speed as it had in the air. Upon entering the ocean, the object spilt, re-emerged for an instant, and then both pieces traveled at the same speed. The Redditor writes that there's no known origin for this object and no clue as to what might travel at these speeds through air and water. Come on, go. At least one there Redditor we go. suggests it's a weather balloon, while most others accept that this balloon. is an unidentified flying device. What do you think this could be? And are you panicked? Number 11. In the shadows. When ghost hunters are distracted by EVPs, they might be missing the obvious right over their shoulder. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Alex Paranormal TV explains that when this occurred, they were receiving activity in that area via a K2 meter and spirit. He writes, Keep in mind, we I check just around saw that. to make sure the location is empty before investigation. And this on, place is on. in the middle of nowhere. The footage shows one of the investigators trying to communicate with the afterlife through the spirit box. As he asks the spirit and... Right there. There it is. You see that? Look at that. Looks like a looks like a looks like someone that's just walking by. A spirit of a ghost just walks by. What would you do? And implores him to communicate. The man filming hears a bang. The other ghost hunter bang, turns bang. around look to look over thumb. his shoulder, completely missing a full figured shadow that crosses in the room beyond yep. over his other shoulder. Is this the spirit these investigators are communicating with? If so, he's doing more than speaking. He's come for a visit. Number 10, <laughs> Hungry Ghost. Even ghosts uh -oh. get hungry. Published to YouTube in September of 2017, this spirit has got quite the appetite. While a pair films the inside of the shop, explaining in Spanish what was going on, a package of crisps fall from the shelf. Uh -oh. As the woman filming approaches it, suddenly it shoots across the floor toward her. She and the dude quickly flee, and who can blame Whoa. them? Maybe breaking the living really makes you work up an appetite. Number 9. Randonautica Spirit House Yet another Randonautica exploration uh -oh. turns scary. Posted to TikTok by Autumn Johnson. This two-part series will keep you on your toes. Autumn writes that the app first took them to a dirt road leading deep into the forest. At the destination, they searched around only to find the roof of a house sticking out of the ground. When they looked inside, huh. they discovered it was a Native American spirit house. The Ojibwe housed the graves of those passed away in stone structures. Their houses are built to honor their families and offerings are made there. These traditional spirit houses are, more or less, simply grave sites. Some TikTokers remark that it's important to respect these sacred grounds, and that's for yep. sure. TikToker Jack of All Trades writes, So long as you didn't touch anything, you should be okay. But if you did, I'm so sorry for you. Number 8. Oh, Nighttime boy. Apparition What do you guys think would happen? Would you think the ghosts would come for you? Or something else? Shin. This clip is making waves sure in the Spanish happened. YouTube community, and it's clear to see why. This associated image was posted in July of 2020 uh... by YouTuber Curious Area. And at first, this footage seems like nothing more than your average nighttime drive. Spooky lights, empty streets, no one around. That is, until this creepy <sighs> oblong figure emerges standing on the side of the road. As the car drives slowly past, the figure doesn't move from near the crosswalk. You can't make out its face or any details of its visage, but it does appear to be wearing a long robe. Would this get your heart pumping, or are your nerves made of steel? 
Number Dang. seven. A foot on the stair. Looks like someone just walking by. I honestly think so that it would be someone walking by. What would you think? Airs. Blink and you'll miss it. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit. Oh, Power I blinked. Startup Nothing writes, happened. IDK, what's up with this video? It's slowed down and the voice sounds poorly acted. But when she turns the camera back around, look at the left staircase. As the woman in the video addresses an unseen presence called Joey, the camera pans from a rickety old stair to a darkened window for a moment. It's when she turns back that viewers are seeing something unusual. Redditor Paratrax writes, That's a foot, walking up the stairs, while others agree that it appears on the third step to the bottom near the railing. Is this Joey? If so, he's not in the basement. Lady, he'd be right beside you. Number six, oh boy. hide and seek. Have you ever played hide and seek with ah, someone who can vanish hide and hide seek? I was Joe. The thin air posted to the ghost subreddit. This video is in Arabic, and exactly oh, where wow. it was recorded is unknown. As one explorer wanders around an abandoned building at that. night, he captures a fig. That looks like a normal person. Looks like it has clothes on and everything. You're playing perhaps the scariest version of hide and seek known to man. The video shows the villain, dressed in all black, crouched, peering around a doorway. As the ghost hunter hurries towards the potential djinn, he turns the corner only to find the figure has disappeared and is nowhere to be found. Of course. With some lurking in the comments Bye. are wondering what that figure even was. Others Look at that. It's like uh, Adrian1403 are considering this explorer's bravery. And I think we can all agree this explorer... Look at that. Look at that. Does that do, doesn't that look like a normal person? I swear that looks like someone pranking him. Does it look like a ghost? I honestly think it's fake. I think someone's pranking him. It has some serious bravery. Number five, kinetic basement ghost. If you're feeling a presence in your basement, there's probably a reason. Published to YouTube in October of 2019, hmm. the uploader explains that this was the first footage she captured of a ghost on her laptop with Xbox One Kinect. She says other paranormal things occurred along with the Kinect footage, including her laptop's battery running out of juice quickly and a plastic Walmart bag moving of its own accord, despite no draft being present. As the uploader demonstrates the Kinect's capabilities, Dang. it shows only her limb movement for a while when she brings a doll lacking a head and places it on a rocking chair. Something appears to be hovering by a bookshelf in the background, something with lime green energy. It remains there for a long while, but when the woman places the baby head on the door, a new Kinect figure appears right next to the rocker, or perhaps the same figure has moved. This time, huh. its energy appears aqua. It remains there active for a very long time and then disappears at one point. When the woman walks past That's it to funny. sit down on the couch, it doesn't again reappear. It's either about time to move or to throw out that doll, or both. Number I think four. it's both. I think you ought to move and throw the baby away, cause that's creepy. I swear that 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 connect thing almost looks like an actual lion ghost. It really By does. Your family, there's no trickery to this one. Oh. Nothing paranormal, but we guarantee it will make some of you very scared. Oh Posted no. Posted to TikTok by Madison Borgia. The spider reunion on this ceiling is sure to send everyone out the door, leaving their shadow behind them. Madison captured this enormous mama spider and all her little spider oh, babies dang. just chilling outside, down right above her. Most commenters say they're moving to Mars, while Lorray Fanpage writes that his anxiety went through the roof watching this. We're with you, Larry. If you mm -hmm. haven't panicked yet, now's the time. Just kidding. Uh... Number three, Phantom <laughs> Update. This haunting just got a whole lot creepier. Posted by Raymond Powell to the Ghosts subreddit. The Redditor notes that this is an update on the disturbing happenings in his home. What are these happenings? The video shows some sort of pipe or tube on the counter start to roll one way and then the other. 
Next, a glass of water is seen disturbed slightly before being pushed clean off the edge. Oh, and lastly, wow. a nearby recliner's footstool extends on its own. Many in the comments are completely creeped out by this wow. clip. Miss Miley Moo wrote, At the end, I turned the phone away for the last 10 seconds because I didn't trust it. I definitely wouldn't trust this ghost either. Number Same. Two, the Old Washoe Club. Some haunted places are meant to be left alone. The Old Washoe For Club good in reason. Virginia City, Nevada is one of them. Posted to the ghosts. Yes, left for a very good reason. Subreddit by I'm the Cat Daddy. This video footage explores the Washoe Club in one of the nation's first industrial silver mining cities of the Old West. Prospectors arrived during the mid to late 19th century in order to stake their claim, and with money came the need to spend it. That's where the Old Washoe Club came in, also known as the Millionaire's Club. This was a place where anything goes, with one main entrance and two secret entrances to keep the VIP's secret shenanigans under wraps. The Washoe Club also doubled as a holding cell for the passed away. At least one room did as passed on individuals were placed there until grave diggers were able to properly bury. With such a sordid history, of course, myths and legends are abound. Three ghosts are said to haunt the place. A blonde apparition called the Lady in Blue haunts a spiral staircase. Oh, it's the sounds from upstairs. Sorry, I thought that was that was someone here. I do have family here, so yeah. A small ghost girl is somehow lost there. And lastly, a prospector causes trouble around the bar, disappearing drinks that are left unattended, and drinking the shots that the bartenders leave for him oh, when they close for oh. the night. This video doesn't show these full-bodied apparitions, but does unveil a paranormal incident. Did you guys see that? As the Redditor explains, there was something in that site. some army buddies decide to explore. Yeah, you saw that there was something that went by the door. I don't know what that was, but that's scary to think. The Washoe Club for Paranormal Activity. He writes, We were told by a few ladies who ran an occult store in Sparks, Nevada, to look out for a dark entity named Steve. He apparently likes to close doors in a room called the Red Room. Though uh -oh. not in this video, during an EVP session in the club, they asked for a name and received Steva in response. And that wasn't the ghost's only response. As one of the bros provokes the ghost and asks it to answer them, a nearby door starts to close on its own. The men start screaming and flee the scene. The Redditor says they all felt Steve's presence in the club, and he continued to slam doors as they collected their gear. They also felt their jackets being tugged on and a finger ran up one guy's back. I was thinking you probably shouldn't provoke a ghost like this, and many in the comments agree with that statement, while others who also investigated the club attest to similar paranormal happenings there. Is this place next on your paranormal bucket list? I think I'm gonna I stay very no. far away from this place. I've got a chat. I'm pretty sure it's a big note for all of us. What are you guys saying? You better not, cause that's pretty scary guys challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because we upload a new scary video every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. Knock Knock. Who's there? Your worst nightmare. Posted by Deadhead Gillies to the Ghosts subreddit. The Redditor says there's something knocking in the walls, and we don't have to take her word for it because she has video proof. It sounds like someone is knocking insistently at the door, only there's no one there. She says this has continued for two months. She's not the only one to have had such an experience. Redditor Ritual Maniac writes in the comments that the same knocking pattern occurred at a house she once lived in, along with other paranormal happenings like voices, doors opening, running, etc. When they moved, everything, including the nightmares and unexplainable bad feelings, all vanished. The Redditor says this knocking wasn't heard initially and just started happening randomly as of late. 
at one point when her boyfriend lived there, he even heard laughing and whispering. The Redditor said after sending the videos to her grandmother, a pastor was supposed to come and visit. But of course, an ongoing event began earlier this year and prevented Aww. that. Some in the comments think That's it's sad. the pipes. Others say it's likely a pesky animal. But myself and many others are leaning towards the paranormal. Game of Onions writes, let him in already, must be cramped in there, but I wouldn't take that advice. Thanks for checking out this video. Well, that's pretty uh, much of a scare for us. We got to see a whole bunch of ghosts today, you guys. And it's pretty, pretty terrifying. Terrifying in the... Ugh. Terrifying in the least. Well, guys... That was, that's pretty much it for today. I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Because I didn't really. That that honestly really scared me. Even though it doesn't look like I was scared. I honestly was. So yeah. Also. Be sure to leave a like. Comment. And subscribe. And also. If you want to keep in touch with me. Follow me on my new Instagram. I will send you the link to that in the description below. I'll be able there on to check on all of you guys so we can talk, chat, do anything, do, well, basically just chat, talk, and just see what we're up with. Just have a good time with me and my fans. No, with all of you people. Yeah. With all of you. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Follow me on Instagram, alright? I hope you guys enjoy this. See you next time. And as always... Peace to Gamers 36. Peace out.